Welcome back. Health care is about to change for millions of Americans after Congress failed to pass a repeal of the Affordable Care Act. President Trump took matters into his own hands. He's ending payments that help working class families afford health care. The president tweeting this morning, very proud of my executive order, which will allow greatly expanded access and far lower costs for health care for millions of people. Sorry, millions of people benefit. Sarah Collins from the Commonwealth Fund is here to explain what the changes mean for you, your family, and your wallet. Sarah, thank you for joining us. We really appreciate it. So, so who exactly is going to be affected by what the president has done here? There's about 18 million people who currently buy their insurance coverage through the ACA market, Affordable Care Act's marketplaces or who directly buy from insurance companies. These are self-employed um, people, working families people who are retired but not yet age 65. Um, but what people really need to understand is that nothing changes right now. So your coverage is good until the end of, end of the year, your premiums are locked in. In 2018, premiums are definitely going to go up um, because of this change. But most people get help paying their premiums from the federal government, so they're not going to see big increases. Um, some people in some states who are not um, getting the, this help from the federal government may see their premiums go up, but it's going to vary a lot state to state. But 2019 is when we really are going to see some problems. Um, we could see millions of people losing their health insurance coverage as a result. It's possible Congress may act before then, but we don't know. But so the government says it's going to save $7 billion by not making these payments to insurance companies. But you say that, that, that this ultimately could end up costing the government more than that? That's right, because if insurance companies don't get these payments, they have to raise their premiums in order to cover the, the loss of that money. Um, but because most people get help paying their premiums from the federal government, the federal government is going to cover um, most of that increase. So they're going to end up paying for that, for that increase. But as you said, Congress could fix this problem tomorrow. That's the good news. They could pass a law that makes these payments um, flow. So with critical open enrollment ready to start, what should people do? People should definitely go to, the, to healthcare.gov on November the 1st. It lasts until December the 15th and shop for a plan. Most people are going to be protected from increases because they get help from the federal government. Um, so it's important to shop around. It's 2019 um, that really we, we're going to begin to see some problems. But again, something could be done something on the legislative be front before then. Sarah, really appreciate you coming on. This is such an important issue for so many families. Thank you. Thank you.